Moving on to Cinema Bravo, Junel Solor. Hi. Hi, Rabia. Good afternoon. You're Good so afternoon. pretty, as always. Rabia, ano ang mga risk na tinake mo sa pag-aartista kung meron mang risk? Risk siguro yung, yung chance to have a private life. Because I also had an offer to go to the US and to be a physical therapist. And to, to, to go back to, to my life, you know, as a private person. Pero siguro, I, I set it aside for a moment kasi not every day I get to to have this opportunity to to express, you know, my artistic side, to express my acting skills. Siguro yon. Pero I, I have no regrets. Sabi ko nga, if it's for me, then mag excel tayo dito. Pero pag hindi, I can always go back to be a physical therapist and to help other people in that field. Thank you. Next question ko, ano so far ang advice ng colleagues mo sa work, lalo na sa agimat ng Agilang kasama mo si Senator Bong? Si Senator Bong, all good words po talaga. Like, sobra-sobrang bait niya. And for somebody like me na wala talagang experience sa acting, um, yung gusto ko talaga, ginaguide niya ako, oh, ito yung gagawin natin, ito yung reaction mo, ganito ka dapat. So yung na-learn ko siguro is to be open and to be able to adopt to changes. Kasi sa set talaga, maraming pagbabago. Minsan, oh, kailangan pa natin ng additional, ito yung gagawin natin. So if ikaw yung tao na, na masyado restricted sa sarili mo and you cannot adopt easily, um, mahihirapan ka talaga. So it's, it's that sense of professionalism that you exhibit. Tsaka, masaya ako kasi usually yung kasama ko sa agima at mga veterano na po talaga. And I'm learning. Thank you. Ang last question ko naman, nabanggit mo kanina na magaganda ang nalatag sa'yo ng GMA. Ano yung masishare mo tungkol sa plano sa'yo ng GMA? Nako, <laughs> sandali lang. Baka may, may masabi ako. Pero so far, um I'm leaning towards doing acting. Des, ito nga po yung action yung sa agimat natin. And also, nagtitrain na din po ako for hosting. Kasi gustong-gusto ko po talagang masalta. Sana next time, kayo naman po yung ini-interview ko. Pero so far, yan pa lang po yung masishare ko. Uh, pero inaalagaan po talaga nila ako. Ma- marami, marami silang nilalatag. Pero hindi ko pa po masasabi as of the moment. Mukhang may pasabog na darating ha. <laughs> Sana. Okay, Sana sumagot Congratulations, Thank Maria. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jonel. It's an honor na nagfollow ba kang isang Miss Universe kay Elmo Bidwan. <laughs> Maraming salamat lang, Gap. Uh, Anytime, Elmo. Uh, um, we have HypeMania.com. Nas Tabares. Nas. Hi, Hello. Nas. Hi. Congratulations for being a kapuso. Yeah. Um. Nabanggit mo kanina yung papasok ka sa Agimat ng Agala. Uh, so, may mga action scenes kasi yung series. Eh, no? so, ano yung mga preparation mo, mo sa mga action scenes na yun? Um, I enrolled myself sa boxing. Ito, ito, funny story talaga to. Kasi nung nilatag siya sa akin na ito yung role ko, I'm gonna be an Interpol agent. At talagang bakbakan talaga. I need to learn how to to hold a gun. Dapat marunong ako ng ganito, ganyan. Eh, medyo lang pa ako as a person. So, right away, I enrolled myself sa boxing class. <laughs> so, yun siguro yung mga preparation ko. Pero sa set kasi, may mga stuntman kami na tinitraining muna ako before ako pasabakin. So, yun nga din yung, 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 yung challenging na part na to. Kasi yung beauty queen kasi dapat mahinhin, prim and proper. Dito talaga, sweat kung sweat, um, pawis ka. Pawis ka na, kailangan mo pagawin to, kailangan mo pa i-deliver yung lines. Pero masaya kasi every time nakikita ko, for example, pag nag-cut na si Direct, kung nakikita namin sa playback kung ano yung performance namin, sobrang sulit talaga. Sabi ko nga kay Mama Ma, yung anak mo action star na. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you were to choose, kaninang career path yung sana gusto mong matulad ng sa'yo? Career path? Hmm. Kanina ba? So, ang dami kasi magagaling talaga sa GMA. Parang um I'm I'm still overwhelmed na 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 sundin yung path nila. Pero yung sa akin siguro kung ano lang yung ilalatag ni God sa akin kasi parang I was given to have a great start and I can never complain. Pero kung bibigyan man ako ng kahit anong mang role, kontrabida man yan, supporting man yan, I I will assure the public that 
I will give my 100% pa rin sa kahit anumang paggagawa sa akin ng GMA. Sabi ko nga kay Derek Rico sa Agimat, Derek, kung gusto niyo akong lumipad, lilipad po ako. <laughs> Walang double. <laughs> Why not? Diba? Uh, yeah, for my last question, sa mga nakatrabaho mo so far sa GMA, sino yung naging pinaka-close mo? Pinaka-close? Hmm. Uh, siguro masasabi ko din si Kuya Betong, no? kasama ko sa Agimat kasi sobrang saya niya. Pero iba talaga kasi nung sa KMGS yung first acting ko parang ako lang doon eh so wish ko lang siguro si Kim tsaka si Jerry bait talaga nila hanggang ngayon nag-uusap pa rin kami tinatanong nga nila ako na o oh, kamusta na yung acting mo nakita namin ganito ganito na yung ginagawa ko kasi so wish ko lang may mga moments talaga na ginaguide nila ako kasi hirap pa ako umiyak hirap pa ako magbato ng dialogue ko tapos From time to time, kinakamusta naman nila ako. Sabi ko nga, it's a small industry pa rin eh. Lahat makakatrabaho mo. So, so it's great to have some friends, di ba? Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Nas. Thank you. Nas, uh, thank you. Uh, from Nas, uh, ano tayo? Puto tayo sa show business. Si Jeng Bauto. Jeng. Hi, Hi Jeng. Hi, Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, and congratulations. Yeah. I have Thank two questions, you. no. First, what made you decide to shift to acting? What is it about showbiz that you want to become part of it? Acting. <clears throat> Siguro uh, I this is also fun fact. When I took my OCOT in UP, yung course kong nagustong-gusto is theater arts. Because sabi ko nga high school pa lang, I, I think I have this creative side to to write stories, to act, hanggang college, nagdideclaim ako. I represented my school sa, sa inter-school competition. And now kasi nakikita ko, it's it's the craft, eh, the heart, na, na binubuhos na you can be somebody that you're not. So, siguro yun yung nag-attract sa akin why I wanted to do acting. The the, the passion, the heart of, of doing that art. Wow. Passion and heart, yon. So, so which is more fulfilling, naman, um, competing in a pageant and uh, win the crown, or the praises that you get from your acting? Because I've also, you know, um, read a lot of good, no, um, reviews about your acting and apan ako gabi niyo sa wish ko lang. And mukhang di niyo kamera, eh. yung sinasabi ko niya na ginagay. Salamat. Na, yung parang wala na mga <laughs> Kung alam niyo na po kung ilang takes yon para, para makuha yung scene na yun. Pero it's two different worlds eh. Sa, sa pageantry, masasabi ko, I, I grew as a woman talaga. I learned to be more mature, to be steady as a person emotionally, physically, and mentally. Pero ito sa acting, iba din yung saya ko dito eh. It's because with pageantry, you always compete. You know, palaging may comparison, palaging kailangan on top of your game ka. Pero in acting, kasi all you need to do is is to love the character eh, and it's gonna flow. Kaya iba din yung fulfillment na masasabi ko nakukuha ko po ngayon in acting. Sobrang tuwa ko po talaga. Totoo. Mas saan ka na kinabahan nung first time kang mag-compete sa pageant or dun yung first time kang umarte? Saan ka mas yung kabadon? Pageant talaga. <laughs> pageant. Iba yung kabadon. Yung, yung thought pa lang na ano kaya yung tanong na matatanong sa akin. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's it. Dito kasi, ano lang, you just have to let go. You just have to relax and trust the people around you. Kasi yung, dito kasi, it's it's not a solo battle. Eh. Sa pageant, ganun. It's who you are, how you perform. Ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. However, dito kasi, it's it's also the chemistry that you have with your co-actors. So, tulungan talaga. Yun yung nagustuhan ko with acting. Tulungan talaga. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Rabia. Thank you, Jeng. Thank o bagay nga mag-host si Ms. Rabia. Lahat ng uh, sagot agad-agad. <laughs> okay. From um, from Jeng, we move on to the fanboy CEO, si Earl Maghiran. Earl. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi, po. Earl. Yan. Uh, question ko lang po is kung meron kayo bang genre na gustong itry na ngayon nasa GMA kayo, what would it be? Hmm. I've done horror. I mean, I like doing horror films. I might do I might do another movie um first week of January, pero small role lang po siya. 
uh, nagawa ko na din yung action, nakapag-drama na ako. Pero yun nga po, gusto ko din itry yung comedy. Kasi sabi nga nila, among all of the genre, yung pinakamahirap talaga is comedy because um, timing siya eh. How you, you deliver the punchline, how you 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 have those gestures your body movement so siguro ganun kasi feeling ko naman nakakatawa naman akong tao so so i wanted i wanted to try comedy naman para maiba okay uh, very quick question na lang uh, sa mga long line of uh, kapuso shows in the past kung meron kang mababalikan at you know sumali doon anong show yung gusto mong salihan Uy, grabe. Dream na dream ko po sumali ng Starstruck dati. Dream, believe, survive. Starstruck. Parang naabutan ko kabatch ko kasi si Nabea Binene in terms of age. So dati, ay, gusto sana ako pasalihan ng mama ko doon. Pero sabi nga nila, kahit hindi yun yung naging path ko, kung, kung ano talaga yung, yung point, no? Kung ano delivering and God will find a way. So ako naman po, pinadaan lang po ako sa pageantry siguro this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Noong mga time ng Star Trek nila, Bea, nasa Iloilo GMA, Iloilo pa ako. Sana nagkita tayo doon. <laughs> Kaya ang bata pa po talaga ako. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek kids. Oo. Um, 